what's up people what's up uh rico the gearhead here with yet another episode now today is gonna be a bit different uh one thing for sure is uh i just passed over some cops i think i just crossed the border or something but uh that's okay you know uh it's no big deal it's no big deal we just have to go back and uh hold up let me yeah so uh, I just stopped here. This is actually the Limuru Road on the on your way to Digoni or something, and uh, I was kind of hopeful-ish that that I'd get some good footage. I know I'd get some foot good footage here yeah, and all, but uh, let's see how it goes first. Uh, yeah, let's go. I really hope I don't get the cops, or rather I don't get stopped by the cops. I know probably I have already crossed the border. And I know I should not, I shouldn't pass the border. I know I shouldn't, but I did. Which is crazy, because I didn't think that I'd really cross the border. Anyway, that's besides the point. Hello, once again, hi. Uh, it is I, Rico the Gearhead with uh with yet another episode now what i wanted to talk about these days uh today is concerning the rainy season the current weather that we have right now it is a bit rainy oh the weather is dull and all so as such that the case may be uh a lot of riders are not actually riding well because people are afraid of riding in the rain and all because one the surface uh the 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 conditions of the road are a bit slick they're not the best it's not the best well, it's not the best traction as you'd have for a normal for a normal day or a normal sunny day where the road is actually dry and uh and the grip is is wonderful man look at the scenery man isn't that crazy Oh, uh, I love Kenya, and this is what we call Tembea, Kenya, you know? Anyway, point number two is um, the weather conditions. You know, riding, being a, being a rider and all, really exposes you to the elements of the weather. And for example, if it were to rain right now, I'd be soaking wet, especially now that I don't have any riding, oh, well, I do, I do not have, I do have some gear, but I do not have, like, uh, I don't have actual uh, rainproof gear. Like uh, all I have that is waterproof or rainproof are these gloves. These are the only gloves that I have which are rainproof. And uh, for the rest, let me. There's one thing that people always think that it's true. These leather jackets, they are not with rainproof. They might be waterproof uh, to some extent. If in case you've noticed, if you ever read it in a when it is raining, you l realize that your jacket gets heavier, uh, your leather jacket gets heavier as it rains because uh, the leather in your jacket soaks up the water and uh, makes, in some cases it might, if you have something under, you'll get, uh, it will get moist, rather you get damp. Uh, it has happened to me, a few cases have been rained on. One thing I always say, come rain, come sunshine, I will always ride. I ride no matter what. Uh, point number two about, right, point number three about why people don't ride in the rain, whether when it's on a rainy season, is that people are afraid to drop their bikes. Uh, that's one thing that I've come to realize, especially people with big CC bikes. You know, they, they well, bikes are expensive machines, you know, but it does really take the essence of riding away, the essence of riding, because uh, riding should be not only is it convenient for you for yourself and if you have someone uh, but it's also something that should enjoy you should practically do everything for me uh, riding has been very therapeutic uh, it has really taken me places like I said oh we stop here we turn here this is where we are going to turn hold up well Like I was saying, uh, riding to me has been very therapeutic and all, 
I really do enjoy riding. It's the best thing that I can say that I have ever done in my life up to date. Uh, was buying this motorcycle right here. The thing that goes, you should actually learn to ride in the rain instead of fearing the rain because the rain will humble you if you are too, if you if you don't know what you're doing. You know, rain requires a lot of skill, does require a lot of attention, and uh, your skills will be tested to their limits uh, when you're riding in the rain because one thing uh, like i said earlier the road the road conditions aren't the same you are exposed to much harsher uh, weather conditions that is rain uh, which is not most well also visibility your visibility also is hindered you know if it's rainy it's pouring uh, hardly you know and also our helmets don't have like wipers like the way the windshields of a car do have hence uh, your visibility will be hindered in a way yeah so here are kind of the I just give up a few steps uh, on how to ride in the rain uh, one thing if you know uh, one thing you should know is to know on which side of the road in your lane you should ride for example uh, Dan Dan the fireman does explain this well in his videos he says that uh, if you're riding especially in the rain you should ride uh, where the tires of the cars are passing that is he, he na actually he names them lane one lane two and lane three uh, lane one and three being the most extremes that's where the tires of the cars are and that's where you should you, you are likely should pass I'm not saying you should pass always uh, the reason being the lane 2 is still you can still pass at lane 2 but that's where the engine and other oil parts of the cars are that's where the droplets fall that's where all the the debris of the car might fall hence uh, which is not and we've n we also know that uh, we also know that uh, oil and our tires they are not very good friends our tires really ha ver have a very small surface area hence uh, one thing so one small thing such as an oil spill can cause you to can cause you to really fall and uh, and really hurt yourself you yourself or even hurt the bike in itself. Uh, another thing that you should realize when riding in the rain is that you should take it very easy. You should take it easy. You should not re actually like uh, push. It's not. This is not the time to actually try to push your bike to the limits because your bike. Uh, like I said earlier, the traction between you and the road is very minimal. There is there is little no traction between you and the road itself because of the rain. It is wet and stuff. That's why you should take, especially the braking. You should really focus on uh, braking yourself. You should not brake hard. Uh, you, you see the intense, the the amount of power that you use to brake on a normal dry day. You should cut it by half. Let's say you are used to brake hard, you should try to brake at least easy because uh, if you brake hard and there is no traction, your your bike will definitely skid. There's no doubt about that. The bike will definitely skid, causing you to fall down or worse, run into another vehicle or something. But that's what we want to do. You have to take it easy, especially when it comes to brakes. Uh, for throttle, it's advisable to take it easy. Another thing to do is always ride when you have your headlights on. Reason being, when you when you're riding, when especially it's uh, gloomy and rainy, if you have uh, for the oncoming traffic, the guy coming this way might not see you, and uh, since he sees it's an open road, he can go anywhere. But once you have uh, the headlights on, the guy coming on the oncoming lane can see you. You can know. Oh shit! There's a, there's a bike there. There's a coming vehicle. Guy, I should be careful and stuff. You know, that's what you should do. And uh, another thing, which goes hand in hand with uh, being uh, the headlight, is ha always wear something visible. You should wear uh, gear which makes you seen. Remember, if you are seen, you are going to be safe. That's how it works. We do have reflective jackets, we do have reflective strips. Uh, don't wear something which is dull or, or rather with something which will blend with the environment as it will make you not be seen. Remember, be, as long as you're seen, you're safe. Being seen is being safe, you know. Uh, what's the other thing that I wanted to talk about? Uh, I say taking it easy, uh, wearing high-vis gear. 
actually this right I, I just wanted to come by this road it's so it's such a beautiful thing we do have such beautiful scenery it's really breathtaking man yeah so those are the tips that I had I forgot all that I wanted to say earlier on I really thought I had them in mind but uh I hope you enjoyed this episode remember guys we are giving away some free motorcycle hell not helmets but we are giving away some motorcycle gloves remember all you have to do is subscribe hit that notification bell so that you're updated uh, whenever we post some new episode and another thing that you have to do is comment on our past videos and our future videos that's all you have to do and give us a like you know it really helps out the channel a lot it really does it really does help the channel a lot uh, remember we are we are currently at last I checked we were at 118 guys man I love it we are growing the family is growing uh, this is something I enjoy doing and I hope that you enjoy watching I really love when uh, things come together and I really love uh, educating you guys entertaining you you guys especially now uh, with the time of coronavirus pandemic everybody's at home but uh Remember always to practice social distancing. That's the best way that you can in order to, you can help to fight this uh, disease. You know. And uh, oh shit! Uh, one thing I should also point out is that uh, the winner will be announced on the 15th of next month. That's when we'll announce the winner. Uh, we do have some people who are actually topping the list of of who are going to likely get the gloves uh, as I said we know most of you guys are uh, either started riding or do our riding but don't have the proper gear that's why we're coming and give you and help give a lending hand to you guys anyway thank you guys for s watching this video uh, it remains a lot give us a like comment comment down below uh, have I left something out uh, what are the, some of the things that you do yourself uh, that help you to ride better in the rain you know Come rain, come sunshine, remember guys, we ride, we ride, we ride, always remember to sanitize, uh, practice social distancing, yeah, that's all, that's all I have to say, um, and until next time guys, I'll see you in the next one, peace.